Hi, welcome back. I'm the Cornish Witch and today I'm going to be talking about how to do witchcraft on a budget. Um, when I first started, um, when I was a teenager, I thought everything had to come from the right places. Um, I thought you had to go to your local like alternative shop if you've got one, you had to buy things from um, witchcraft stores online for it to work, you had to buy the right candles, buy the right talismans, the right herbs. I thought that was really important. It is not. Um, so much of my stuff now, like as an adult, like when you're a teenager, you you ask people for things, you, you get pocket money, you know, money doesn't come from you, it comes from other people. Um, whereas as an adult, I'm a big fan of doing things on a budget. Um, I don't have a great deal of money to spare, so a lot of my place, a lot of my um, supplies come from budget shops. Um, so, for example, um, my candles that I have got lit today, these ones, um, have come from Home Bargains. They were less than a pound each. Love Home Bargains. Um, and they come in a variety of colours, and they're in nice little jars. So you're not going to get wax everywhere. I like that. Um, I also have shop things from everywhere. Um, Asda, love Asda. Asda have always got a good range of candles and they do a big thing of little tea lights for like £3.75. Winning. Um, and a charity shop. I love a charity shop find. I'm currently on the hunt for, I want a little set of apothecary drawers. Um, so I can keep things all neat and tidy in the little drawers next to my altar. Um, haven't managed to find it yet. However, I did find some other things when I was hunting for them today. I found this really cute little lantern. I've got several little lanterns. All my other lanterns have a little door on the front so you can take the candle out. This one has a little turnstile thing at the bottom and you... Oh, won't come out. There you go. And your candle just twists and you take it out. I won't be able to get it back in now though, that's the problem. There we go. How cute is that? That was £1.50. I was very happy with that. Uh, oh, next up, when I was in Asda doing a food shop earlier, I found this little guy. Um, very cute. And little hollowed out heads to put a tea light in. It's nice and heavy, it's properly made of stone. Really like that, and that was two pounds in Asda. My favourite find of the day is this little bowl. How cute is this little bowl? It's so pretty. I'm completely besotted with this little bowl. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I might have to use it um, as a money bowl or possibly use it to put my um, for my water element on my altar. But I love this bowl. So other things you can do that are free, we like free things, um, is if you have access to a printer, you can do lots of printing. Um, I very often print a lunar calendar for the year in January. Um, I also, when we get to talking about Book of Shadows, I very often print like pretty pictures to stick in my Book of Shadows. I am not artistically inclined. Um, it is not one of my skills. Um, so I print off pretty pictures and I make my Book of Shadows pretty like that. Um, also on my altar, I have this. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, this is a very beautiful Wheel of the Year. Um, and I found this picture online and printed it and just put it in a nice little frame. The frame looks very pretty, but it was just a cheap one from the range. Uh, and that lives on my altar. Very pretty. Um, and also you can find things when you are out in nature, going for a walk. You can find all sorts of things. Um, so on my altar, my representation of Earth 
so I'm just looking at my altar now. Um, my representation of earth, I have um, some oak leaves that I found, and some acorns and some pine cones. Um, as long as you ask permission, um, ask the universe, ask nature spirits, if they're happy for you to take these items. Um, I always take what's on the floor. I never take, take anything off of a tree, um, but I have those items on my altar representing earth. Um, the same for my water element on my altar, um, because I live quite close to the beach because I live in Cornwall. Um, I have a collection of pretty shells that my friends and I have collected in a little, in a cute little bowl on my altar. Um, I also have this, which I made, um, just out of twigs. Again, I asked permission, I asked um, the great spirit and the universe if it was okay if I took the twigs, and I brought the twigs home and made this. I love this. This sits next to my altar as well. So there are plenty of things you can do to get started with your practice that don't cost money or don't cost very much money. Um, so when you look at spells, especially if you're first getting started, um, they say you, you need all sorts of things. You need this certain colour candle. You need this specific oil, this specific herb. That's not necessarily the case. When it comes to magic, intent is everything. Um, so if you've only got white candles, use a white candle. Um, if you've only got one of the herbs needed, just go with it. Um, as long as you have the intent and you know what you want to do, um, that it should work absolutely fine. A lot of things that you need, you've probably already got in your kitchen. Um, maybe you need some basil, maybe you need some cinnamon. A lot of people already have these things in their homes. Um, I, I, I find it really difficult following spells. Um, because a lot of the time it just doesn't feel quite right to me. Um, I tend to get an idea of what I want to do from a book, an idea of things, and then I tweak it and I modify it to me. And uh, it depends on what I've got available at the time. Um, but just remember intent is everything. Even if you have nothing, meditate and visualize what you want to happen because intent is everything. Uh, I hope this was really helpful to you. Um, if there's anything specific you want me to cover, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Blessed be.